Hello and welcome to my review of the all-electric Nissan Townstar van. Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex. This is the all-electric Nissan Townstar van. It's a small little van that's going head-to-head -head with the upcoming sort of Ford Courier, Ford Transit Courier and the Ford Connect. Based on that Nissan, Renault, Mercedes alliance, that sort of collaboration they do, this is essentially a Renault Kangoo van and also a Mercedes e Citan underneath. It's got the same battery pack, it's a 45 kilowatt battery pack. We've got CCS charging at the front here. We've got up to 80 kilowatt DC fast charging and then 22 kilowatt AC. But overall, in terms of the design, looks quite interesting. I haven't seen too many on the road. We've got uh, LED headlights here, we've got LED fog lights as well. We have also got a front facing camera for a top down bird's eye view. Charging port is underneath this little Nissan badge here. Um, but overall, it's quite a nice looking van, I think. Around the back of the town star, we've got typical van sort of exterior. We've got double doors. We've also got a reversing camera, which is actually really useful because there's a bulkhead and you can't really see behind you quite easily. So there's a reversing camera for that. We've also got parking sensor down the bottom here, which is, makes parking very easy as well. And all you have to do is open the double doors here. Inside here, it's big enough just about to lie down if you are short enough. So I'm about 5'7". I can just about lie down in here. There's 1,810 millimetres of load area in here and just over 1,500 millimetres width-wise. There are some more specs on screen. Overall, I think it's a really good little van for deliveries. There's a good amount of space in here. You could fit some racking and different things in here and different shelves. There's a lot of tie-down points. There's some tie-down points here as well. Um, this one I put some plywood on all the interior. I think that comes as standard. And there's also some tie-down points down here as well. This one does have dual opening side doors as well, which is quite nice. Uh, and there are some LEDs up there, which you can turn on and off as well. So that's quite good. For the interior of the town star, it's actually quite a nice place to be. Uh, there's two seats up here, so they're actually really soft and comfortable leather, or fake leather actually. Uh, steering wheel's really soft as well. We've got an 18-inch infotainment screen with support for wireless Apple CarPlay, which I was quite surprised about. It's quite rare for a van to have wireless CarPlay, so that's really good. There's a gear selector down here with uh, some three different region modes, which is quite good, so B1, 2, and 3. Uh, we've got a nice climate control system here as well, so we've got uh, little screens that are like an Audi TT, really. You've got little screens that show you the different settings on there. There's a driver's display as well, which shows you all the information about the range, the regen, um, the, sort of the efficiency of the vehicle as well. And there's a, quite a few USB ports. So there's actually one USB port here on the screen. There's also two underneath this little locker cover up here, which is quite cool. There's also a 12 volt socket in there as well. And there's also another 12 socket down there. So if you're traveling, charging all your devices and I don't know, scanners and things, barcode scanners for deliveries, lots of places to charge devices. We have also got a little phone holder, which comes as standard on the Townstar. Like any van, there's also more storage above your head. So there's a really good amount of space up here for magazines and clipboards and things. A uh, good amount of space up there. Um, and use a sort of a fair up here like lights and SOS buttons as well. This one does actually have a bulkhead. You can ask Nissan to remove this if you don't want it, uh, but most people with a van, they do have a bulkhead in it. Also, we've got an average size glove box. This one being converted different sizes because it was a Renault beforehand. We have got the fuse box on the wrong side of the vehicle. So there's a very small amount of space for your manual in there, but not too bad. Interesting up here, there's this little weird concave mirror. Um, not too sure what it's for, but it, it shows you an interesting perspective of the interior so you can twist it and turn it either way. Around the side it's a pretty simple design. We do have dual sliding doors on the side which should make loading and unloading easier. 16 inch alloy wheels come as standard. If you do want anything different you will have to go for the Ascenter trim instead. Because the town store can be had as either an ICE or EV the petrol filler cap is actually left over but cannot be opened. Lastly, automatic folding mirrors come as standard. The Nissan Townstar is actually quite nice to drive. It almost feels like a car more than a van. The motor is front mounted and it's about 120 horsepower. If you engage the eco mode, which you will need to do if you want to get the most range out of it, that does limit you to 60 horsepower and it does limit you to 70 miles an hour. Uh, with the throttle pedal, you can push the button further down the throttle pedal and it'll give you the full power if you need it. But in my experience, I've found that it's pretty adequate by itself. The ride comfort of the Townstar EV is actually quite good. Uh, again, it feels more like a car than a van itself. The battery system does live under the cargo area and it's obviously a little bit heavier than a combustion van would be and that probably makes the suspension a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, being a commercial vehicle, don't expect a car-like experience. Um, you have got a fair amount of wind noise from these large mirrors, which they are very big and it does make moving around town very easy, but they, are, they do have a lot of wind noise. There is a fair amount of noise from the rear cabin section. Uh, the bulkhead is blocking a little bit of that noise, but um, it is it's definitely more refined than a diesel van would be. In terms of efficiency, I've been getting about three miles per kilowatt hour, uh, and that's the indicated range is about 120 miles. 
Nissan quote 180 miles of WLTP range. It's a lot better than the electric NV200 was, but that was based on the Nissan Leaf platform. The main downside with the Townstar EV is its charging performance. Um, I don't think the Townstar has quite a good temperature management system. Um, so on some charges I've seen nine kilowatt. Uh, so maybe I've driven it for 10 minutes to go to a charger. The charging speed is maximum nine kilowatt. And I've worked out since that the battery itself was quite cold. Um, it was about three, well, about five or six degrees outside, so it, it wasn't the most optimal temperatures for it. Uh, but I would have expected it to sort of ramp up, and it never ramped up. I tried that on Instavolt and also Osprey as well, so your mileage may vary. I have noticed, however, that the charging speeds on Tesla superchargers, the ones that are open to everyone, is absolutely fantastic. Very, very good speeds on those. I've only seen about 66 kilowatts. But having said that, AC charging speed, 22 kilowatt on this Tecna Plus model. That's really, really good. Obviously, if you've got three phase at home, you can charge this overnight. Um, well, a matter of hours on 22 kilowatts. That's really, really good. The Townstar seems at its happiest at sort of town driving and this sort of roads, so B roads, where you can sort of regen and use the use the regen modes quite effectively. On motorways, it does drop its range quite heavily. Um, it, it's not the most efficient thing for that sort of use, but it's not really designed for that. It's designed for local deliveries, sort of bobbing around town and stuff, um, and delivering different things like Amazon parcels and things. We've got three different regen modes on the Townstar. We have got an eco mode, which I mentioned it does restrict the power to 60 horsepower, which should give you a bit more range. We've also got B mode, like the e-Golf used to have, the Volkswagen e-Golf. So you knock it across the B, we've got B1, uh, we've also got B2. It does knock itself into B2 by default. And then we've got max regen, which is B3. And that sort of gives you a half attempt at a one pedal driving mode. The regen's very strong. It does give you a good indication of how much power you're pulling in from the wheels so if you let off the accelerator completely you'll get a maximum of about 50 kilowatt i've seen before so that's pretty good this the top spectrum the techno plus we do have a various array of driver assistance features uh, so we have got adaptive cruise control lane keep assist it will keep in the lane by yourself but overall the townstar ev is actually quite nice to drive very quiet relatively efficient around town so i think i make a good addition to a delivery fleet so that's been a look at the nissan townstar van overall it's a pretty good van um, I think it'd be very useful for sort of short journeys and sort of short delivery routes. But longer journeys, the charging speed is actually quite disappointing. But overall, what do you think about the Nissan Townstar EV? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to Interface Cars for more car reviews and also van reviews as well now. My name's Alex and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>